Hey everyone, this is Dr. Kazi and in this video, we're going to learn about what is the reaction of drug metabolism and what is cytochrome P450 system used to metabolize the drug in our body. Now, we know that the kidney cannot eliminate the lipophilic drugs from our body. Why? Because the lipophilic drugs are again reabsorbed in our distal tubule. They are lipophilic, they cross the cell membrane. And we have to make these lipophilic drugs polar or water soluble in order to eliminate it from our body. Have a look at this diagram. In our kidney, you have millions of nephrons. Nephron consists of the glomerulus portion, the proximal convoluted tubule, then we have the loop of Henle, the distal convoluted tubule, and finally, the collecting duct. Now, the lipophilic drugs, they cross the membranes and again reabsorb into the distal tubule. They are not eliminated in the urine. So we have to convert this lipid soluble drugs or the lipid soluble agents into polar and they are converted in our liver. So liver metabolizes the drug, make it lipid soluble by two main reactions, the phase one reactions and the phase two reactions. Let's talk about the phase one reaction drug. The lipophilic drugs are converted into the polar by unmasking the polar group which is present in the drug, exposing the polar group so it should be eliminated from the body or introduction or you add the polar group into the drug, make it polar, water soluble so it should be excreted in the urine, make it water soluble. Now, the phase one reaction occur by utilizing a system which is known as the cytochrome P450 system, also known as the microsomal mixed function oxidase system. No need to remember the complex name, just remember the cytochrome P450 system is utilized in the phase one reactions. Now, it is used for the metabolism of endogenous compounds, the compounds which is present in our body, like the steroids and the lipid. And can it, it can also be used for the biotransformation of exogenous compounds or the xenobiotics. For example, the drugs, it is xenobiotic. It is the exogenous compound. So the cytochrome P450 system converted into the polar compound. So it should be excreted from our body. Now, in order to remember it more clearly, I have drawn these diagrams for you to memorize it easily. It is present in our liver, in most cells of the body, and in our gastrointestinal tract. Now, there are various isoforms or the variable forms of the cytochrome P450 system. So we have to name it correctly in order to understand it or study it easily. So the nomenclature includes family name, the subfamily name, and the specific name. The first number after the cytochrome indicates the family name and then we have the subfamily which is indicated with a capital letter and after the subfamily we have the isozyme form now because there are many genes which encode this enzyme the isozyme form is very specific Many isoforms of the cytochrome P50s are known, but I want you to remember these four important isoforms. The cytochrome 3A4 or 5, the cytochrome 2D6, the cytochrome 2C8 or 9, and the cytochrome 1A2. The cytochrome 3A4 is found in our intestinal mucosa. It is metabolizes the drug. Now, because of the genetic variability of the cytochrome 450 system, its activity varies in different individuals and in different racial groups. Now, this variability changes the drug efficacy in different individuals in the different racial groups. Have a look at this diagram. This person is having pain. He's taking painkillers or the analgesics like the cordy. It's a morphine, natural opioid. But this person cannot get rid of pain, although he is taking medications, but the pain does not go away. Why? Because the cordine is metabolized by the cytochrome 2D6 system. And because of the mutation of the cytochrome 2D6 system, 
the person cannot get rid of pain. Have a look at the polymorphism of the cytochrome 2C subfamily. If you are having the polymorphism of the cytochrome 2C subfamily, you cannot metabolize the clopidogrel drug. The clopidogrel drug is used for the myocardial infraction and stroke. So the risk of the myocardial infraction and stroke increases. If you are taking the clopidogrel drug, which cannot be metabolized because of the polymorphism of the cytochrome 2C subfamily. Remember, the first number indicates the family and the capital letter after the number indicates the subfamily. Now, the cytochrome 450 system are activated by certain drugs and inhibited by certain drugs. So the inducers are like the on switch. They increase the expression or the activity of the cytochrome 450 system by increasing the synthesis of the system or increasing the biotransformation of the system. On the other hand, the inhibitors are like the off switch. They turn on this system by decreasing the activity or the expression of the cytochrome 450 system and this mainly occurs by the competitive inhibition by the isozyme. The examples of the inducers are the phenobarbital, the carbamazepine and the rifampin. These drugs are the inducers of this system. The natural example is the drug which is obtained from the John Ward plant. It's a plant and the drug is the natural or the potent stimulator or the inducer of the cytochrome 3A4 system. The examples of the inhibitors include the ketoconazole drug, the erythromycin and the vetonavir drug. The natural example is the grape juice. It inhibits the cytochrome 450 system. This was all about the reaction of drug metabolism and the cytochrome 450 system. Please do like, share and subscribe and I will see you in the next video.